everybody, I hope you're all doing well. So today we're going to be doing the final little details on our flower and we're going to be doing it by doing little seeding stitches. So I've got my thread, we're doing it in this same baby blue which is a gorgeous blue, this nice little baby blue. So I've got my thread here. Get the right length, it's from your little finger to your elbow which is that. seems more like the length it's meant to be rather than when I'd be doing very long ones. So I'm going to thread it on this way. And I think I'm going to put just my seeding stitch into the satin stitch here. So I can cut the end off. Follow these seeding stitches. And it's a really good one that we were saying the other day, a good one to kind of get your practice up on two handed stitching. I wonder if this is one where I should use the Philippa's split and flip method. which bits I've stitched and which bits I've not because the outline is such a similar colour to what we're using. And we'll just move on to this one. when we're doing seed and stitches which I sometimes struggle with is making sure that I get it exactly on where the outline is to make sure that it's covered because that's something I definitely struggle with from time to time although I do think on this kit I've gotten slightly better at making sure my outlines are covered I'm two-handed there. And two. So we finished this flower now. If I just took that to the camera. Um, so I've done all the little seeds and stitching here and we've got a finished flower. What we're going to do now is we're going to move the linen so we can get this full hill with the rabbits on so we can finish that little section off. See how, how we're getting on. I feel like not only done a lot right now when you look at it.
this is the next section that we're going to be doing. I'll see you on Monday when we will start doing the